Good morning. This is Hiro. Uh, what are we going to do today? Well, I need to service these uh, pine trees, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Um, these are just materials that's developing, uh, not finished or anything like that, but we do need to go through these steps during the spring. So um, I'll be a spring technique uh, on pines. And um, like I said before, I'm just going to do a bunch of them and hopefully I'll hit the right mark enough times. I think I've said it before, uh, pines, especially black pine, tends to be really hard for me to teach. Um, I wish there was a comprehensive book. Well, there is a comprehensive book uh, written in Japanese and there was a translation of it, but it was so difficult to understand. And that's, that's one of the problems of um, the pine especially. Uh, everybody has a different technique and everybody is correct. Um, one time my uh, college professor, the one that I, I talk about from time to time, uh, Professor Uwasugi, anyway, uh, he had uh, made an arrangement for a bunch of professionals, California professional landscapers to meet at San Diego and they would teach. Uh, he said everything went well. I talked to my friend uh, who is a contractor, he said there was almost a punch out because all these professionals had different techniques. So therefore, what I'm going to do is what I do. If you want to follow my method, that's fine, but this is not the only way, okay? Um, well, what happened for me was I had uh, Mr. Yamashita who taught me. He was from uh, Southern California. But I also went to Japan and I looked at different people, uh, different regions of Japan have different ways of dealing with it. So anyway, uh, my background is kind of a jumbled mix and then having to make it work in our climate. So anyway, so don't think that my method is the only way, okay? Got it? Okay. Um, these candles, the center candle, uh, they're great to evaluate the health of the plant, but almost of no value once you start to develop. So like right here, see how long this became? You should always cut that center and then rely on the secondary. Let's see if I could find another one. Oh, up here. See the center one? And there's little clusters inside. So that's what you have to do. There is a to uh, kind of clarify what I did. It should, most of the time, black pine, uh, black pine comes out like this, with a big center candle and cluster of little ones around it. Okay? So when you get done, the center is removed and then the secondary gets shortened so that that's, this part will fill in again and that will be the new foliage or the needles. So that's what we're trying to do. So at this point, I'm just going to remove the center candles. There's not much on the secondary, so I'll wait till they come out and then break off uh, most of the, the new candles. So that's what I'm doing right now, just removing the main candles. As always, the apex right here, right? Well, if we don't take it off, then it would just go straight up. So there's a nice little guy on the side. So we will do that. Let this grow, and then at a certain height that you want, you could break it off. But that will be uh, for the apex. Uh, we got all these candles, center candles, so we're going to remove all that this round. Now, you might be wondering, well, why don't we do more? Uh, because I have a, a tendency to do the styling in the fall. So this is what I do in the spring 
just to uh, develop the material. Well, those of you that are in milder climate, you could do this uh, styling anytime, but for me here, I found that if I do too much this time of the year, the trunks will burn. So that's what I'm doing now, is to get through this time period, develop it into uh, a nice bigger material, or bigger material, but not necessarily style. So this is uh, the first phase, and when the secondary come up, we'll break oh. them. We should be familiar with what we're doing. So we can move the center candle. Like on this one here, what we're talking about is to remove so that just a little bit, and then that will green up like that. So that's more of an example of what we're going to do. And we have to hold off. You can't do this by your schedule. It has to be done by the tree schedule. Okay, now, here we go. The apex, right? Definitely don't leave this one here. Now, we have these two as being potential, so you have to think in terms of which way you want to go. Well, either one's okay, but on the pine, I find that it's better to go with the less vigorous. So this one, I'm going to cut it short, and hopefully it becomes a side branch, and this will be the new apex. Like I said, uh, my method is not the only way, so I know there's plenty of you out there that know this stuff, so I'm not infringing on your territory. I just say that this is the way I've done it, and it seems to work, but there are plenty of other ways. Okay, so I'm going to just put these away. And I'm going to keep it bushy so that the trunk get uh, protected. And then, well, the thing is, pine do better when they're in full sun. But it has a tendency to get burnt on the trunk. That's why I leave a lot of these foliage. And then in the fall, I would open it up. And then it has time to come back before it gets hot again. Down in here, there's way too many branches. But, like I said, this, at this time period, I'm going to just save it and not worry until the fall when I do the styling, when I should start to thin these out. So, anyway, this is kind of my method. There's this very short chapter on uh, black pines. These are probably about 10, 12 years old. Um, they're not bonsai per se, uh, they're materials in progress. But, um, like I was saying from the very first episode of this series, trying to teach black pine is very difficult for me. Uh, others might be uh, better at it, but there are just so many different reasons for doing certain things and it's hard for me to visualize and to verbalize what I do, okay? So that's why I'm doing a whole series, then hopefully, eventually, you kind of get the gist of the plan, um, because Hero has a difficult time trying to figure out how to teach this. Okay, anyway, uh, enough complaining for now. <laughs> I'll see you again real soon in another chapter, probably another uh, pine or so, uh, and other subjects. So, uh, please stay safe. If you enjoyed this program, please tell your friends, and I'll see you again real soon in another